Good morning. Welcome back to my little gardening show. Uh, we're out at the garden, checking on the plants, getting ready to uh, apply the mint lighter constant feed to them. Uh, but I thought I'd give you a, a little glimpse of my uh, greenhouse table that we built um, yesterday. Uh, Dad moved all the plants out this morning. So let's take a look and see what I got out here. Bud, what you doing, bud? <laughs> you want to show us the uh, plants? Look at all that. We got all kinds of tomatoes. I need to watch these labels, they're starting to fall off. All kinds of tomatoes. We got our uh, squash, cucumbers. I'm looking for these watermelon. leaves. Like they don't, they're not gonna produce anything. Yeah, those are the seed leaves. They kind of slough off after a while, but you can pinch them off too. It's our peppers. We wanted to get them out on this table um, so they can kind of get used to the outdoor conditions, um, direct sun, wind, all of that. My little greenhouse table here, what we did was we built a little frame. It's about, um, these supports are 42 inches wide, but probably another inch and a half, inch and three quarters on each side, right? Big enough for all, all so close to 46 inches all together and then we took some cattle paneling I had a I think it was about an eight-foot section and we just we fastened it to the frame with these um, poultry staples and we got them stand you know supported on these uh, concrete blocks cinder blocks that were I think a dollar a piece at the uh, forget where dad got them at yeah bargain hunt store whatever it's called and through, so far the business has been going pretty well. It yeah. takes a while to build this though. It took you guys an hour. Yeah, it took a little while to build it, but looks pretty good. These tomatoes, when we plant them, about two thirds of the plant's gonna be in the ground because all these little follicles here, these hairs will turn morph into roots. Wait, so we're gonna plant them like Plant them about a foot foot deep in the ground. So they have to be about like three feet? Yeah. yeah Most of them you can see the stems are just, they're not um, toughened up yet to the outdoor conditions yet. I haven't had to withstand a lot of wind. Some of them maybe just one. Same with the peppers, they're just a little weak. Because we got off to a late start. Yeah. They should do all right. All right, well, uh, let's go down to the garden and show them the garden. All right, so we're down at the garden and uh, the rain has really helped things along. I thought everything's gotten bigger, huh, bud? Let's go inside and take a look. It's probably a little, a little damp. You have to be kind of careful. Another week or so, we'll have some lettuce to harvest. Look at all that. It rained a ton yesterday. We got some potatoes coming up. Not all the potatoes have sprouted yet. These are carrots. Yes. Which we're gonna have to weed that. There's some weeds growing up in there. These are onions. They're really starting to take root. But again, so are the weeds. All this grass needs to be pulled. Look at that. You can tell because the grass. This would be the ideal time to weed, really, bud. This compared to that, this is a lot lighter and yeah. they, they kind of bend up. So our uh, two lone garlics that are growing in the path there. I think two or three. I don't know where Got some kohlrabi going. Cabbages, a few cabbages. They're getting kind of eaten up there, a few of these. Mm -hmm. There's the kohlrabi. There's our broccoli. So far being kind of left alone. And it's, I mean, there's a few holes, like right here. This plant's getting kind of... Yeah, this one on the end. I think the squash girls are... Here's our kale. Lots of NATO kale is looking awesome. That's actually, we could probably harvest a little bit of that. Curly leaf kale could definitely harvest a little bit of that. Um, where is the cobra? Red cabbage, they're doing okay. There's a couple of them that aren't doing so good. It seems like they're being attacked a little bit more than the other plants. There's the regular cabbages. 
got some radishes growing over there. You want to try it? You can eat that, bud. It's good. What's it taste like? You like that? Potatoes are starting to do pretty good. The peas are really... Peas are growing a little bit. Again, they're a little behind, but they're doing all right. Let's go over to the green beans, Ben. Look at all the weeds. <clears throat> and the germination rate on these seeds are not very good. I mean, I double planted these rows, and there's a lot of gaps there, so we really need to... We're gonna need to reseed that. Oh, what's caused this? Press some beetles or something. I need these three are empty. Those three are empty. We gotta get our uh, lima beans going. All right, bud. Well, let's get. Uh, we'll get back up to the uh, plants. We got need to fertilize them. Overall, things are going uh, pretty well. A few areas of concern. We definitely need to get out here and do some weeding, uh, especially on the uh, north end of the garden that didn't okay. get the heavy layer of mulch like this. Oh, cool. Let me let me zoom in on that, bud. That radish. Oh, cool. It's a little cherry bell. That's good. Here, let's take that back for Mama. All right, you want to help me with the plants? Yeah. But we gotta let them grow just a little fatter, okay? All right.